Awesome Rider Review. Hey YouTube, Awesome Rider here with a review of Arm Chain Series Premium Bandai 06 Common Rider Ryuga and Yuzuzu Yogi Bear Arms. Uh, no, I think Yomosu Higuri? That's right, I think. It's a name that I like had trouble learning and then I sort of learned it but then kept the bit going, but um, this is the last form Ryugan got in the series. It's like his evil hell fruit arms. And it is essentially a mashup of his uh, Budo arms and Kiwi arms. Um, if you couldn't tell already or didn't know. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and we'll dive right in with the packaging. Now, uh, it's pretty uh, typical fare here for the premium Bandai packaging. Except usually when it's one figure, the packaging is roughly the size of a normal figure. Why is it so much bigger? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Settle the hell down. No, anyway, uh, but really cool picture of him here on the front being like, hey look, I have a mismatch. Uh, and then like a really cool side shot here, it's like a, looks like a drawing shot of him, it's really neat. Uh, the packaging on these are just really nice. On the top it shows you how to work an arm change in case you haven't. And then up here, thanks spoiler alert, I was hoping to get to the back before we got to it. But the reason that his box is so big is that he comes with three extra weapons. He comes with the weapons that belonged to the overlords, which is a really cool touch. Um, on the bottom here, you get an in-show shot of him, which is pretty neat. Um, on the back is just an action shot of him clashing with Gaim Kiwami arms. I like how they're both displaying the weapons of the Overlords in a fight. And then you got Baron back here like, hey, I have one too. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. So that's why his box is bigger, is that he actually comes with essentially some extra pieces. So here, obviously, is the shell of the figure, which is like a red version of Ryugan. It's like... Ryugan Burst Mode, if it's Digimon, or Ryugan Fury. He's like the Kelzak Fury of Ryugans. Um, and he has actually quite a bit of accessories compared to normal. Uh, you got some pretty normal stuff for him. Uh, you got his little grape gun, his little psh, 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 that he liked to beat people with instead of shooting him with it. But you get that, and then you get his little Kiwi weapons here, which pff, I should have gotten a figure, but I feel like they're a little bit different. Like, I feel like uh, they weren't as dark on the regular version. But you get essentially both weapons that you would get in his normal uh, forms. Here you have the arms themselves, which if you couldn't tell is just like a red and gold repaint of Budo's arms. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Got some really neat designs on there. Um, and then the main attraction is the extra pieces, which is the Overlord weapons, which is really cool. They're really nicely done. Uh, here's the giant sword weapon, which belonged to... Holy crap, I can't remember their names. I, 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 Guy wasn't even that long ago, guys. I'm having to think with names. But this was like the main Overlord dude, the giant slug guy. We had a giant sword, uh, very cool. Um, and then this was the other guy who has little testicles dangling from his weapon. No, this each of them were essentially like a counterpart to a Gaim character. So the weapon for this guy, uh, this overlord, he was essentially Michi's counterpart. I'm such a nub, I don't know their names. Like, I love Gaim is like my favorite series, and still. Um, and then this is the third weapon from uh, Baron's counterpart here. So that's really cool. I really like that a lot. They might have, they could have already announced it and I just didn't remember, but I don't know if they're doing anything like that for figure arts, but regardless if they are or not, a uh, really cool touch. I just really like that. It's one of the neatest accessories in a long while. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with arm change figures, this does have the same articulation as they all do. It shares the same base mold, uh, back and forth movement, 360, single elbow joint, Got some swiveling, swiveling at the fist. You have those independently moving finger joints, um, swiveling at the waist, a uh, little ball joint on his head and neck, or his, mainly actually just his head. It's where his neck is, but you get a pretty good range of creepy motion. The creepy, like, twisting head thing definitely fits for Michi. Um, nice little joint on his leg here, all around motion, swiveling, single knee joint, little ball joint on his foot. So I always describe these in like the TK figures as like a cross between figure arts and Power Rangers 5 inch figures in terms of uh, the scale of articulation. I set the scale between figure arts and Power Rangers figures and I pendulum summon this guy. Watching too much Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyway, uh, so pretty simple. Um, I forgot to mention it, but you probably know if you're watching this. Arm change figures have the little helmet that comes with them and uh, it's out of the the armor when you get it, but you can store it in there so you can just transform them all in one swoop. So I went ahead and did that. So place it on, make sure his little ports latch on, and then we're just gonna sort of separate him. I'll do this first. That's gonna become the chest. Boom, revealed. Just gonna make sure you get it right. This piece goes on the back, fold it down, and then let that come off. That's really embarrassing, man. Why are you doing this to me? We're live, guys, we're live. 
and you're doing this to me now, of all times, and the, of all gimes. There we go. I haven't gotten to do a gime pun in a long time, but there. Boom. Ryugen Yogi Bear Arms. Yomotsuhegiri, Yogaba Gaba form, whatever you want to call him. Um, yeah, so he's using the base armor body of Kiwi Arms with the helmet, or no, the armor body, excuse me, of Budo Arms and the helmet of Kiwi Arms. Now, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I do like it. I actually think it looks pretty neat, especially in the figure form. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I think it's kind of interesting that usually, you know, Ryder sells a lot of different toys, a lot of different forms, uh, figures for those forms, gimmicks for those forms. Um, and I think it was interesting that in Gaim, we actually ran into a situation where the guy's backpack fell off and they're like, get off set, you're a failure. No, that's not what they ran into. But they ran into a situation where they actually created a couple forms for the story. Uh, so this was created near the end. It was obviously a bit of a last minute thing. Um, same thing a bit with Baron's Lemon Arms, but you know, obviously they still sold them some premium toys with that. Um, but the still, uh, they weren't part of the original plan. At least I don't think it doesn't seem like it. So I think that's very interesting. That's just a little random tidbit about the show. Um, but like I said, I do like some of the stuff they did with this. I kind of wish they had modified the helmet. This is more of a review of the, sh the suit design in general, uh, which does pertain to the toy. But I wish they had tweaked the Kiwi helmet a little bit. It's just so obviously the Kiwi helmet, especially on the back. I'm not sure what color they should have made it, but uh, I wish they would have tweaked it just a little bit more so they didn't make it seem like he just put the Kiwi helmet on. Um, but that's, like I said, that's like simultaneously a review for the toy and a review for the people who designed the physical suit. Um, but yeah, that's really my only nitpick and mainly has to do with the show. Um, but if you are a fan of the arm change line, I can actually definitely recommend this figure. Um, it's a nice figure, so you get another nice arm change figure with another set of arms to swap out. He's fully compatible with the rest of the line. You can put the hell arms on any of the other guys. You can put uh, other arms on this guy. Um, where's the example? Right here. A little sneak preview, there's Gaim with it. Um, regular Ryugan using some of it. And uh, Baron, so you can do any swaps. So already I can recommend it in the fact for the fact that you get more. I um, mean, it's a solid looking figure. But what really sets this over the edge in terms of recommendation for me is most definitely the Overlord weapons. I think it's a really nice touch. So if you're a fan of the arm change line, I can definitely recommend it. Not only are you getting another solid arm change figure, but you're getting these really cool Overlord weapon accessories. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Stassen Writer, signing out.